Hey folks, Aldo here. For those who may not know me, I'm a ZTM alumni who went from absolutely no tech background or experience to becoming a full stack developer. And now I've made it my mission to help others thrive and succeed in their own journeys. In this video, we are diving deep into a topic that's buzzing with excitement and innovation, the world of artificial intelligence, more specifically the ins and outs of becoming an AI developer. But before we dive into that, I need to take a quick minute and say a big thank you to all of our YouTube subscribers. We just hit 100k subs on this channel, and that wouldn't have been possible without your engagement and eagerness to learn. So as a small token of our appreciation, there will be a little surprise near the end of the video, but only for a limited time. So make sure to stick around until the end. All right, back to today's topic. What even is an AI developer? Is it even a real job? How is it different from a machine learning engineer? And is it a good career option? Well, why wait any longer? Go grab your favorite drink, get comfy, and let's dive in to answer all these questions and more. Let's go. Let's start by breaking down what an AI developer actually is. At its core, an AI developer focuses on integrating existing artificial intelligence technologies into products and services. Essentially, AI developers take these powerful tools and apply them to solve real-world problems. Whether it's automating customer service through intelligent chatbots or analyzing large data sets to predict trends, they are the architects behind these smart technologies that are increasingly becoming a huge part of our daily lives. Now, this whole thing can get complicated very quickly. The reason I say that is because AI as a whole is a very new field. What an AI developer does can vary widely because its technologies and its applications are evolving rapidly. It's a bit like the early days of the internet. Everyone knew it was going to be big, but no one could predict all the ways it would weave into our lives. Now you might be wondering, Aldo, that sounds pretty similar to a machine learning engineer. What exactly is the difference? Trust me, I've battled with distinguishing these two roles myself. It can be a bit of a gray area. So instead of trying to parse it out on my own, I turned to someone with first-hand experience and insight, Dan Burke, everyone's favorite machine learning and AI instructor. And here's how Dan breaks it down, and I quote, I would describe an AI developer as someone who builds something with AI as the main feature of a product. If you're building an application on top of ChatGPT or on top of Stable Diffusion, you're an AI developer. You're not necessarily building your own AI, but you are using it predominantly. To contrast that, an ML engineer is someone who builds, tweaks, and optimizes custom machine learning models. From collecting a dataset, to refining model architectures, to performing transfer learning on pre-trained models, to custom domains, to ensuring that their models can run on specific hardware. In my opinion, Dan really hits the nail on the head here. It really comes down to what you're doing with the AI. If you're developing applications that utilize AI, then you're in the AI development space. But if you're the one making AI smarter by building and tweaking models, then you're in the machine learning space. Now that we've cleared up that confusion, why should you consider a career as an AI developer? It's not just the allure of working with cutting edge technology. There are tangible benefits that make this an attractive field. Here are three top reasons. Reason number one, great pay. Any career that pays over $100,000 sounds pretty good to me. Even though this is a pretty new field and you probably won't make $100,000 in your very first job, the average salary of open US jobs is right around $101,000 and senior positions can pay up to $300,000 to $400,000. Reason number two, you don't need a degree. Tech careers in general are becoming more accessible than ever before. To become an AI developer, you don't need a traditional degree in math or computer science. Most companies simply care about if you could do the work or not. This can come from previous experience that you already have or a portfolio showcasing the projects that you've built. This means that anyone that's willing to put in the work can get hired in this field. Reason number three, impactful work. There's a pretty good chance that AI is going to fundamentally change work across every sector of the economy. By working in AI, you'll get to be one of those people making these changes and writing the rules. From healthcare improvements to financial service innovations, AI developers are already leading the charge in driving progress and solving real world problems. Now that you're absolutely fired up and convinced about becoming an AI developer, you probably want to know the steps to make that happen, right? Pfft, what kind of question is that? Of course you do. 
Step number one, Captain Obvious here, but you need to acquire a baseline of the necessary skills. Here's what that list will look like, but given how fast the industry is shifting, this will surely evolve. So what skills do you need mid-2024? Skill number one, learn how large language models work. Start by understanding how large language models like the gpt 4 o model that underlies ChatGPT, how they're built, process language, and generate text. Skill number two, learn prompt engineering. This is where the magic happens. Now just to clarify, there's a huge difference between typing random questions into ChatGPT and being an expert prompt engineer that utilizes these large language models to do complex, fun, but most importantly, useful things. I'm not gonna lie, I never realized how important this was until I started taking Scott Kerr's Prompt Engineering Bootcamp course on the Zero to Mastery Academy. It taught me the importance of creating effective prompts among many other things, a skill that's been invaluable. So if you're curious about becoming an AI developer, or maybe just learning about large language models and how you can use prompts to make you more efficient in your current role, then I highly recommend you check out his course linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Anyways, let's head back to our skills. Skill number three, learn Python. Python is crucial for AI development. You don't need to be a top 10% Python developer, but you should feel comfortable building apps and understanding the fundamentals. If you don't know anything about Python, I strongly recommend you check out Andre's free Python crash course here on YouTube. You can find that linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Skill number four, learn how to use APIs in your applications. You'll most likely want to start by using large language models built by big companies, such as OpenAI or Google. So you'll need to understand how to hook up your application so that it can access those large language models using its API, such as OpenAI's API for GPT models and Gemini's API for Google Gemini models. Skill number five, build your own AI projects. Practical experience is invaluable. Apply what you've learned by building real world projects, whether they're part of a course at your current company as a part of your current role, your personal projects, or even open source contributions. Now, I'm talking about the importance of projects, but you know I'm not gonna leave you hanging. If you're stuck for ideas, here are some perfect projects to help you get started. Project number one, build and scale generative AI apps using AWS Bedrock. You'll build and deploy three AI projects using foundation models from Meta, Anthropic, Cohere, Mistral, and more, all from a single API. Project number two, build a chatbot with Nux and ChatGPT. You'll create a chatbot application that utilizes OpenAI's assistance API to create a custom assistant for any product or service, and which can also be tuned to respond to users according to any personality you wish. And under the hood, we'll be using Nux to power the communication between the user and the AI-powered chatbot. Skill number six, learn additional tools and technologies. This is where you get to have some fun. You can start going on side quests to learn more about cutting edge technologies and tools. You can learn about fine tuning large language models, RAG, Langchain, multimodality, AI agents, and so much more. Again, I'm not going to leave you high and dry, so here are a few ideas to kickstart your exploration. Project number one, build a large language model Q&A app using Langchain, OpenAI, and Python. This project guides you on enriching large language models with new custom data for advanced question answering. Project number two, create a front end for large language model apps using Streamlit and Python. This one allows you to dive into the user experience side of AI applications, showcasing how to make complex AI functionalities accessible and user-friendly through a web interface. Okay, so now that we have these skills out of the way, let's move on to step number two, which is get job ready. There are a few key things you're gonna need to do here. Number one, create a one page resume. Number two, create a personal portfolio website. Number three, make sure that your LinkedIn is up to date and professional. Number four, make sure that your GitHub profile is active and also up to date. Your resume and LinkedIn profile are table stakes that everyone else is doing. They're not necessarily gonna land you the job, but they can kill your chances before you even get the chance to prove yourself. Now, you would think this is something that's pretty easy and everyone would get right, but you'd be surprised how often we see some terrible resumes and profiles that are pretty much an instant rejection. You don't need to spend a ton of time here, but I'll link a couple resources down below to help you out. 
What's really key though is having a strong portfolio of real world projects that showcases your skills and problem solving abilities as well as an active GitHub profile. This is what prospective employers will look at to see if you're the real deal or not. If you need help putting together this whole package of job ready materials, check out Dan Scafano's complete career toolkit course. He's interviewed and hired tons of people and is a senior design expert. So if you want to stand out during your application process, click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the description below. Step number three, start your job hunt. With a portfolio in hand and practical experience under your belt, you're ready to start applying for AI developer roles. Focus on roles that match your current skill level as well as junior roles as they provide a great entry point into the industry. Take it from me, you're never going to feel 100% ready to apply to any job, but push yourself to do so in spite of this feeling, your future self will thank you for it. And also remember that your learning will 10x on the job because you're going to be working on real world projects and actually getting paid to do so. So just focus on landing that job as quickly as possible and pick the one with the best learning opportunities and not necessarily the one that pays the most. This approach will make you more money long term anyways. And finally, step number four, prepare for interviews, technical and non-technical. The technical interview is a critical part of the hiring process for AI developers. It tests your problem solving skills, understanding of AI concepts and coding abilities. Just like anything else, practice is key. So make sure to brush up on common interview questions, review your projects and the technologies used in them because more often than not, they're going to ask you about them. So be ready. Given that these roles are so new, from what we've seen, the interview process tends to be very similar to the typical developer interview process. So take this with a grain of salt, but here is what that might look like. Number one, an online quiz when you apply. Although not everyone will do this, it's a simple filter to see if you're worth spending one-on-one -on -one time with as they get thousands of applicants. Number two, a basic coding assessment done from home. Number three, an in-person technical interview where they ask you how to solve specific AI-focused questions. Number four, potentially a final project to complete that would replicate your daily work. This will give them an idea of how you work as they want to hire people who are not only capable but can deliver on time. And number five, a behavioral interview to see if you would make a good team fit. There are hours and hours of tutorials and courses dedicated to this topic that I'm not going to cover in this video, but if you are at this step, I highly recommend checking out the massive free step-by-step -step interview guide that the ZTM instructor team put together. I'll drop a link to that in the description down below. So there you have it folks, clear as mud. Obviously this video doesn't give you every single aspect of the career path, but it does give you the high level steps on how to get started and what to expect on your journey to becoming an AI developer. If you want to dive even deeper and get a step by step path, then check out our AI developer career path, which I'll link in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Hey Aldo, you said there was going to be a special surprise at the end of the video. I watched the whole thing. Where is it? Don't worry, I didn't forget. As a small thank you for your support and to celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers, we're giving our YouTube viewers 17% off their Zero to Mastery memberships, but only for a limited time. Just use the code I love ZTM YouTube at checkout to unlock this offer. Joining ZTM today will also grant you access to our private Discord community where you can network and learn alongside ZTM instructors, mentors, and fellow students like myself. Watch the video on your screen to get a glimpse of our vibrant community. That's it from me today. Stay dedicated, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next video.